guys, it's Darren at Perth Supernova Pop Culture Expo and we're here talking to Mark Raps. Thanks very much for chatting to us. Hi guys. Um, so we'll just kick it straight off. How young were you when you were attracted to basically art and the idea of drawing? Well, I think, you know, I've, I've, I've drawn forever. I think you know, most artists who you'll speak to who, you know, have turned it into some kind of career of some description will say the same thing. Um, and that is that I've just drawn for as long as I can, I can remember. So, you yeah. know, it's just... I've, in the old days, it used to be the Hal Foster, you know, Prince Valiant comic strips, and I used to try and copy those in yep. the 60s and 70s, or well, late 60s, 70s. And, um, you know, that really sort of got me into the whole idea of, of the fact that you could draw these fantastic yep. places and, you know, whatever. If you just, if you studied a bit and you learned about horses and you learned about uniforms and, you know, chain mail, yep. you could come up with something that was really interesting. So it, it started yep. a long time ago. And you pursued animation for a while I did. as well. Um, how did that decision come about to do that side of it? Well, I saw, you know, I mean, when, we, when I was quite young, my folks took me to see um, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, which yep. I just, I was scared, terrified. I was, uh, you know, I must have been five or six yep. years old. Um, and it was, but what, what I took away from that was that it was just such an incredible thing to yep. see drawings you know, even at that age, I understood that they were just drawings that I was looking at, and I was yeah. just amazed by it. So I wanted to work for Disney. Um, and I think in about 1973, um, a mate of mine who was at school, who was an exchange student um, from the U.S., took some of my drawings back with him. He lived in, yeah, okay, in yeah. Los Angeles. And um, what he did was he sent those to Disney, and I got a letter from Disney to say, look, we really like your work. And we'd like you to enrol in Cal Arts, which I mean okay. was fantastic. You know, so look at this and thought, wow, that's amazing. But I couldn't. It was just not practical. Yeah. You're back in the 70s. I was still too young. And um, so it unfortunately wasn't one of the things that I could do. But I always loved it. So I've ended, I ended up teaching myself animation, uh, 2D animation, and then getting very involved in the early ground of 3D animation. I think my first 3D animated short I finished in about December of 85. Okay, yeah. And that was computer graphics. So yeah. that was when computer graphics came in. It was all very exciting. Yeah, and Yeah, and so that's how I got into the whole animation thing, was, was sort of that way around, through the 2D. And then when 3D broke in the very early yeah. 80s, that's where I sort of and got what, involved. And what drew you back to more traditional art? Well, I worked in digital for many years. I mean, you know, I, I don't know, from then, you know, when digital came about in the early 80s, I just, I thought it was great because now you didn't need pencils, you could just do it all digitally. And back then it was more complicated because in order to get your colors on the page, you, could, you had to write all the code in yeah. DOS and then try and work out how it was all going to fill yeah. in. So it was more complicated, but it was still really exciting. But um, a company that I had was a patron of the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. And I had a, an annual um, invitation to go to, to a lunch with the president yeah. for about three or four years in a row wow. um, with some of the, the guys who worked for me. Yeah. And at one of those events, somebody said to me, could you draw a picture of President Mandela because you want to use it for a fundraiser? And I yeah. thought, well, hell, this is a great idea. But I hadn't drawn for probably 12 or 13 years at that okay, stage, yeah. not traditionally. I'd been drawing with tablets and, and a mouse and a puck or whatever it was called back then. And um, so this was in the, probably about 80, uh, 94 or 5, somewhere yeah. around there. So I went home and I got out my paper and uh, my, my old pencils that I hadn't seen for years and I sat down at the dining room table and I just loved doing the drawing. You know, it was just suddenly I, I thought, you know, this is what's missing. I love digital, but drawing traditionally is just so exciting. Yeah. And it was really just that, um, that almost epiphany which I decided that what I would do is I'd pursue the illustration work that I do would be specifically traditional and only traditional. Yeah. There's no digital involved at all. And, uh, and the, the other work would just carry on in whatever way it meant to go. So the two jobs yeah. sort of split into two different directions. Okay, now you do a lot of iconic art like Star Wars, Indiana yep. Jones, etc. Um, how did that come to be such a strong focus for yourself? Well, I think, again, like anybody uh, who saw the original Star Wars, I was in the army when Star Wars came out in 77 and uh, 77, 78, and I saw it and decided that I'd rather work for George Lucas. So I'm quite fickle, obviously, because yeah. I wanted to work for Walt Disney and then decided <laughs> that I'd yeah. rather work for George. And, and I wasn't that interested in, in the story. I mean, I like the story. The stories are fun, but I was fascinated in the way the movies had been made yeah. because my whole background, of course, is in, in the behind the scenes of how things were made. 
we were dabbling in visual effects and building models and things so that we could do it just within the productions that I was involved in. Um, and so what actually happened was, you know, that, that was a very early sort of um, focus where I suddenly looked at how, how these things were made. And because of the work I've been doing in, in animation up to that point, because it was also pioneering, I'd met guys from Industrial Light and Magic like Dennis Mirren and Phil Tippett along the way. Yeah and then started doing work for, for the Lucas licensees about 25 years ago now, okay, yeah. is, it was the first job I did for them. And it just seemed like a really good idea to continue to work in, in that area. And, and I've just been very blessed, you know, I've, I've been incredibly lucky in that, uh, you know, I've been given opportunities that <coughs> most people just wouldn't have. So now you did the fortunate. anniversary poster for Indiana Jones. I did, yeah. How long did that take you to actually draw? Um, I mean, obviously, each job again is different, but that particular one, once you've, the concept is, is the most difficult thing to nail because, you know, you've got a lot of people to keep happy. Yeah. You've got yourself to keep happy. And I wasn't 100% sure in which direction I wanted to take it because Richard Amsel's original poster is yeah. so iconic mm. that um, I wanted to maybe pay homage to that poster. Yeah and then it didn't work and it was getting too self-conscious and then I just decided well rather than concentrate on an homage to a poster let's do the job and concentrate on the movie because that's what I should yeah. be doing and then it worked out so once you keep those once you've got that sorted out and everybody's relatively happy which can be a, a long process um, then the actual painting uh, which is is quite large it's about yeah. the size of a, of a proper you know the actual full-size poster um, that will probably take about six or seven days to do um, from wow. start to finish. So okay. that, but that's as long as the concept is, is approved. Now, is there any sort of other, like you've, obviously you've done Star Wars, etc. Is there any other franchise or movies that you'd like to dive into and do posters for as well? You know, there always are. And, and I tend to gravitate towards the older movies because it's a little bit, um, it's, it's a more simple pro uh, process. Yeah. Working with the newer movies becomes quite complicated because you can't say things about some of the movies that are coming up, but you've got to make a design, but you can't give away the secrets, and it yeah. becomes quite tedious. And also, you, you've you've normally got sort of a whole, you know, rugby team of, of guys to yeah. go through to get final approval. So I, I prefer working on the older movies because everyone knows the story and it's a more simple process. Yeah. So to answer your question. Um, you know, Lucasfilm has been very good to me over the, the last years that I've worked on, but I'm, I'm busy talking to, through an agent of mine in, in the U.S., uh, talking to um, Warner Brothers about doing some of, of the movies that they want to, or looking at maybe okay. reissuing. Um, some very well, unfortunately, can't say much about yeah, it now, right. but some very well-known actors who are, who are very positive about doing this kind of yeah. thing are very keen to do it. So the chances are, you know, within the next year, I'll be looking at, at doing some of those, okay. which are fantastic. Now, you've got your own website. I think it's Mark, Mark MarkRights.com. Yep. Yep. Now, people can buy prints off that website? Yeah, a few prints. I, I can't sell a lot of... Uh, they normally are just um, uh, artist proofs that I've done. Yeah. Uh, legally, I can't sell a thousand Raiders of the Lost Ark posters because you know, you've got to have a license to do that. Yeah. And Acme Archives have an exclusive agreement with Lucasfilm to allow them to do that. So, but there are a few um, artist proofs, and of course, you know, I mean, I can do you know um, commissions, yeah. and there is a little bit of um, original art on there as well. Okay. Well, if you want to get a mark to Joyce, a beautiful Indiana Jones picture or Star Wars or something like that, you can jump on his website and check out all the information. Uh, thanks very much for chatting. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks guys. Man.